All right, guys, today we're here to talk about my top 15 rides at Walt Disney World. You guys know I am a travel agent for Disney, so if you guys want to support me and this channel 100% for free, make sure you reach out to me so we can start planning your next Disney vacation. And I love Walt Disney World. Obviously, I've been going there since I was a kid. I love the rides. Obviously, I'm a huge ride person. I love going on rides, but I love Disney and Star Wars and Marvel and, and the storytelling and, you know, the rides here. Obviously, as somebody who grew up in New Jersey, you know, we have Six Flags and stuff, but it's nothing like going to Disney World and experience experiencing the stories going on these rides that are way more intricate than anything that you can experience even their roller coasters and stuff like that have a lot more story built into them they're a lot longer than all the other amusement park rides and stuff like that uh the fireworks show the food everything is all themed and that's what i love about disney that's what gives me the feels that's what makes me keep coming back and that's why i'm a travel agent for disney because i love everything about disney and i have since i was a kid and i've only probably grown even more uh you know happy with disney with the rides and stuff like that than i had been when i was a kid so i wanted to showcase to you guys my top 15 rides at walt disney world as of today just know that I, the only ride i have not r ridden so far at walt disney world is tron which i hope to ride uh you know i'll be riding in the next couple of months because i'll be going back to walt disney world here in at the end of uh july so that will be really fun for only a day or so or a day or two uh before we go on to the main event of the vacation we're going on but still i'll be riding tron and i'm excited to get onto that ride but everything else i've ridden so this list is based off everything else at Walt Disney World so let's go ahead and get into it gaming tech eating brekkie is the gaming tech going for a brekkie is the gaming tech gaming tech is the gaming tech gaming tech all right, so the first one here coming in at number 15 is Soaring. Soaring's a ride that I always have so much fun at. It is located at Epcot and First of all, the iconic queue line here where this guy talks to you is always like reminiscent of me because I used to go here as a kid and this is one of my favorite rides when I was a kid. And it's just such a fun ride that you go in and you feel like you're flying. You're going through all the different parts of the world. Fun fact, all the places that you go to are all the places done by Adventures by Disney. So they're actually, it's almost like a giant ad for Disney, which is hilarious. I don't know how many people knew that. But it's still really cool. I love the ending scene where you're ending up at Epcot and stuff. You really feel like you're flying, especially if you go in the middle seats, which is where I recommend to go. So you don't see anything on the top or bottom of the screen. It's a fantastic ride. The next one on this list coming in at number 14 is Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Now, the reason that this one is actually not higher on the list is because the ride is just too short. But other than that, the ride is really cool. I love the, the fact that you're going through like a mine train and it's a fun roller coaster. It's a family coaster that you can go on and you have all the scenes and stuff like that from the iconic music and stuff like that while you're going through it. I just wish the coaster part was a little bit longer. It is over way too quickly, but I love even the ending here on how much fun this ride is. The next one here coming in at number 13 is Test Track. And I love me a good fast paced ride like this and the fact that you're out in the open and stuff like that. And Test Track is really cool because it's more than just racing around a track really fast. Uh, when you go in, you get to design your own car, which is really cool. Get to compete and see how your car does compared to other cars next to you that you're driving with, which is really cool to see, you know, who came out on top in different areas and you go through and you're doing like you know tests and like weather conditions and wind conditions and stuff like that all of which are really cool and then you end with a fast pace you know going from zero to 65 or 60 miles an hour as fast as possible really really cool the only one that this one's lower on the list as well is because it seems the last few times i keep getting stuck on it the next one here coming in at number 12 is peter pan's flight now i know this ride is really simplistic in nature but it's so iconic in my mind of when i was a kid i love these scenes and stuff like that where you go through this ride and it feels like you're flying through the whole entire story and you get to hear all of peter pan's story but the best part about this ride and it gets me you know on this ride every time is flying through never ever land it's it's fantastic i love the city below you really iconic reminds me of my childhood while i'm on this ride and it's something that i always need to do when i go to disney world because it's it's that iconic to me and it's that brings back all the childhood memories of flying through that never ever land so fantastic the next one here coming in at number 11 is pirates of the caribbean this is another one that's really iconic to me as a child i i got on this ride ever since i was a child again it brings back those childhood memories but i love the ride itself too it's a super super long ride as well which we love those obviously and the ride is just really really good uh, going through being on a boat going through you know pirates of the caribbean seeing all the animatronics seeing all the set scenes and stuff like that you know it is is awesome and i love the you know the pirate theme song when you go in there i love the little uh you know little and the first part when you go in where you kind of get thrown into the the bottom layer and you kind of get a little wet sometimes it's really fun uh just a really iconic ride for me i love all the animatronics all the song singing I love, again 
brings back those childhood memories because I rode this when I was just a little kid every single time. And, uh, you know, I'm still riding it, you know, 30 years later and, and having such a blast on this ride. Um, I love all the scenes on here. Hopefully this ride lasts a long time. I actually can't wait to go on some of the other rides. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean is very different in other locations like Paris and, and Shanghai, China and, and California and stuff like that. So I'm looking forward to trying this ride in other places uh, since the ride I've always been on is the one in obviously Disney World, which is what this list is based off of. The next one on this list coming in at number 10 is Space Mountain. It's just a really fun roller coaster, a really fun dark coaster where you're in the dark and you're going through and just riding a really fun roller coaster. It's obviously a family coaster. I love the special. I love the fact that when it turns it into like the holiday times where they kind of theme this right out and make everything red and green and everything, which is really fun. But the ride itself is a ton of fun. It's definitely a family coaster. A lot of people can ride it really fast, really fun. A lot of tight turns and a lot of dips and doodles everywhere. Really fun time on space mountain and uh you know it's definitely one of those rides at magic kingdom that i love riding every time i go because it's just you know just that much fun to ride and go through it the next one on this list coming in at number nine is tower of terror uh man this ride is up to the when you first get in line seeing the haunted mansion going through the line the the cast members that are kind of acting everything out and being in there and kind of welcoming you into the elevator and stuff like that kind of sets the whole entire thing and then you go into here and you get the little story in the beginning uh, right before you take your final plunge all the way to the bottom honestly i'm going to say a controversial thing i actually wish it was just one gigantic drop where you go all the way to the top and then all the way to the bottom as opposed to doing it 15 times over because sometimes that thing gets me a little dizzy with how many times you go up and down but the ride's always different which is really cool you don't know where you're going to go where you're going to drop from which obviously keeps things interesting but uh, i love the ride i love the story i love the you know the source material and everything like that and the queue line's fantastic and just the the cast members really up and up a notch with the way that their acting skills go on there so love this ride the next one here coming in at number eight is big thunder mountain another iconic ride at magic kingdom Another one that's just really, really fun, another family-style coaster, but this one just takes the cake of most of the other ones because it is just really, really long. Every time you think it's over, it keeps on going. It's so much fun, really, really fun to be in there. You know, starts off really quickly, uh, goes around the mountain and a lot of different caves and stuff like that, which I love doing. Uh, so it has some inside parts and some outside parts. And it's just a really, really fun time and a really fun family coaster that a lot of people get a lot of enjoyment of. And I still get a lot of enjoyment of as well, for sure. The next one here coming in at number seven is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. Uh, this is an iconic ride because obviously it is the first Mickey Mouse ride at Walt Disney, which is fantastic. And I think they did a really good job with this one. I think it's a ton of fun. Uh, the pre-show is really cool. And then you get into your vehicle here. And the ride is just one of those, another family style adventure where you're going into a car and you're looking at all these uh, scenes that they're doing, but it is really cool the way that the 3D effects are done and the way that the, you know, the effects that they do in general that I don't want to spoil on this video, but that happened throughout the ride. It's obviously a dark ride here, but it's really, really cool. Some of the effects that they pull off in here, some of the cool things that you do, like the iconic dancing section of the ride where you're dancing around back and forth. Uh, really, really cool stuff. Love it as one of the first Mickey rides at Walt Disney World. The next one here coming in at number six is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. So this is a really, really cool dark ride because obviously you guys know I love 3D on this channel and they did really, really good 3D effects on here where there's a lot of 3D screens and it really feels like you're, you know, right at Remy uh, going through underneath the tables and stuff like that. It really makes you feel like you're small and, you know, a rat going through this adventure and stuff like that. But it's not just 3D screens everywhere, which is great. They actually combined it with physical effects, which is really what sets this one apart from a lot of other rides. It's not just a bunch of 3D screens everywhere. There's a bunch of actual physical props around and also smells. They did a really good job with the smells where you're going through and you actually smell like fresh bread and stuff like that. These physical pieces that you're seeing here that when you actually move around are obviously fantastic. And again, like, you know, there's fire effects and all this other stuff all combined with the 3D glasses and the 3D screens that you're watching. I think they did a fantastic job with this ride, obviously. And it's one I can't wait to show my family where we go this year because they haven't all ridden it. I've ridden this a couple of times already and I have a blast every single time. The next one here coming in at number five is Expedition Everest. This is obviously a full-on roller coaster. Uh, definitely uh, so far on this list, one of the 
best roller coasters, obviously, being so high on this list. And you actually get to meet a Yeti. This is obviously an iconic ride at Animal Kingdom. Really, really fun. Definitely for the adventurous type. This is a full-on roller coaster. Like I said, you go backwards. Uh, at certain parts of the ride, you get to the dead end. You actually have to travel backwards like you're seeing right here, which is really cool really really fast really really cool to be going up mountains and stuff like that and then you get across and meet the yeti and then you just start going crazy and go forward and uh you know it's a really really fun roller coaster another one that i consider to be really long when it comes to roller coasters uh, i'm so used to roller coasters here in new jersey at six flags that are like 40 seconds long and I, that's why i love disney so much and this is another one of those rides that lasts longer than you expect and it's really really fun and a great roller coaster ride here at walt disney the next one on this list coming in at number four is Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain is a roller, is a water ride. It is one of my favorite water rides of all time because of how long this is. This is like, what, not eight, nine, ten minutes of a water ride. Even when you go down the final big, you know, um, area where you actually plumb it down, you still have the story towards the end where you're still enjoying it. It's just a really long, uh, you know, log flume type ride it's really really good i love the story in it. and obviously we all know it's being changed by disney to now be tiana's adventure bayou adventure we'll see how that turns out i'm assuming most of the ride is going to stay intact and it's still going to be just as long it's just going to be completely rethemed so it's still going to probably be one of my favorite water rides because the nature of the ride is probably going to stay intact i doubt they're going to be touching too much structural stuff it's all going to just be retheming but i will i rode this ride for the last time last year to kind of reminisce and go through this last theming that we're going to have here before everything got changed and i'm super happy i did i actually rode it a couple of times that day um you know this is a ride that again it's one of my favorite water rides of all time due to the length and how much fun it is and you getting wet and all that kind of stuff and the story it told so hopefully the new theming does this ride justice the next one here coming in at number three is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I was super nervous when I first started reading all the reviews coming out of this ride because everyone was saying you can get really sick on it and blah, blah, blah. And, and, you know, there were barf bags at the line and all this other stuff. But I'm here to tell you that is not the case at all. This is a super fun roller coaster. Uh, that if you can handle roller coasters, I think you'll be fine. There's a little bit of a few seconds of going backwards and the coaster just move left to right uh, to point you to different screens and stuff like that. But it does not actually do anything like, you know, swirling you around or anything like 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 teacups or anything like that it's just pointing you in different directions the ride is a ton of fun it kind of reminds me of course of space mountain but a much better version of it and again this is one of those rides that's really really long and i love the scene here where you actually go rocket around the moon people are like oh my god that's the one that makes you the dizziest make sure you close your eyes i didn't feel anything and it was a ton of fun going around that moon that you'll see here in a second uh this is obviously one of my favorite roller coasters at walt disney uh it's so so good and uh, I think the theming is fantastic and everything about it was awesome. The next one here coming in at number two is Avatar Flight of Passage. Now, we all know I love 3D, so obviously Avatar is a fantastic movie. I saw it in theaters and saw the new one. And the fact that we have a ride dedicated on it and a whole entire land in Animal Kingdom is fantastic. And this ride is amazing. I kind of think about it as like an updated version of soaring uh where you're kind of sitting on here and going through and you're looking at a gigantic screen that spouts water at you and stuff like that it is very reminiscent of soaring uh but just like a, a little bit more of an intense version of it especially with the way you're sitting and stuff like that and the way you're pushed up on the screen but it's a fantastic ride especially if you're an avatar fan going through that fantastic world on a place like this it's so much fun and really really good highly recommended if you're a fan of the movie and the last one here coming in at number one is probably not going to be a shock to most people at this point it is star wars rise of the resistance not only am i a huge fan of roller of rides and i'm not only am i a huge fan of star wars in general but this ride is on a whole nother level you start off in the queue everything in the queue is impressive the pre-show here where you see the hologram of ray is outstanding and really catches you off guard uh then you go and you the whole ride experience is like 15 to 20 minutes long with other different scenes and areas that you're going into everything feels like a star wars story and a star wars adventure more than anything of any scale i've seen on any other ride uh this definitely beats the pants off of any other ride i've been on uh, when it comes to scale and just everything going on in this ride the animatronic here that you see going on this is one of the other pre-shows that you're going in and, and listening to and, and it's it's just fantastic uh the set pieces in here like when you're going through and seeing all the stormtroopers is like did they really just put like the whole area in here with the stormtroopers is just amazing 
uh, the fact that they it's this grand in scale and all you're doing in here is just literally going by it and, and, and just going into the next room. But everything in this scale is crazy. And then the ride itself starts, and the ride itself is also fantastic. The ride itself is really cool. The cast members are in there before you get on and, and doing their thing, acting and all that stuff, talking about like the rebel base that they're trying to take the plans from and everything. Really, really fantastic stuff. The scale in here, as you guys are looking at, with with you know everything in the ride is also really good but the ride itself is just really really cool to anybody can ride it you know families and, and enthusiasts and all that kind of stuff because it is really fun a really cool special effects on this ride and everything as you're going through really really love this ride it is not only my number one ride on this list but it's also my number one ride of anything i've been on period with all the special effects everything going on in this ride the scale of everything everything the technology involved in this ride is just out of this world um, you know, it, it's, it's really, really just that good in my opinion. And I love going on this ride. It's the, it's the best ride Disney has ever done in my opinion. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this top 15 list of my favorite Disney world rides that I have been on. Hopefully I can do more lists when I go to Disneyland and all this other stuff and make sure you stay tuned as always, guys, I am a travel agent for Disney. So if you guys want to support me and this channel completely for free, make sure you reach out to me so we can go ahead and start planning your next Disney vacation. Other than that, guys, if you guys have any questions that you've seen on today's video, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Until next time.